What's going on guys, MDLP from the Battle Axe, the Strongman Gym in Miami where strength is everything. Uh, making a video about my last 15 second video. I feel like I start every video saying making a video. I thought, oh whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyways, um, I made a video, a small one, <laughs> size matters, on Instagram about how I was getting a Texas deadlift bar and it's the day before the CrossFit competition and how I figured I'd probably deadlift the day before. So this brought up a lot of messages and people, um, actually a few people email me, message me, text me, that kind of stuff. A lot of people responded to the Instagram. I got a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of people know who I am, so most likely I am going to deadlift. But it brought up a lot of the questions about rest and how you should rest before a competition and why MDLP doesn't listen to anybody but MDLP. So I'm going to give you two answers. I'm going to answer you like a coach, and then I'm going to tell you what I do. Um, I don't have a coach right now, but I know what a coach would tell me. Um, so I'm going to answer this like I was coaching myself. I would probably tell myself to stop being an idiot and rest the day before this CrossFit competition because of the high amounts of repetitions and overall cardio is going to give me a very like big muscle pump. My muscles will be very filled with blood, high repetitions. I'm not very used to doing that. Um, so the chances of my back cramping up or just being overall exhausted are way higher. Um, although in strongman, high amounts of repetitions is part of the training, except that we go very, very heavy. So sub-maximal repetitions is going to be okay in my book. It's the body weight stuff that kills me, right? Because I'm about 240 pounds right now. So um, obviously as a coach, anybody out there that's going to compete um, in strongman competitions, I like to take the week off before. Uh, just chill, eat, relax, make your weight. Um, in CrossFit competitions, I always tell my guys to take two days off. Uh, maybe Thursday, do some light rowing just for anxiety. I don't see the point of doing anything. But I know people get anxiety, so go in there, maybe go over the movements with a PVC pipe or just kind of run through strategy uh, just to get the anxiety out of there. Some people just have like a bunch of like, just a lot of stress, so it's easier for them to go sweat a little bit and release some of those uh, toxins and just relax than to actually just sit at home and get nervous or whatever. Um, so I definitely suggest always resting before competitions, eat right um, and all that good stuff. I think it's very important. Um, but, you know, a lot of good points were brought up for myself. So now I'm going to give you the MDLP answer of what I do and how I do it. Um, what's the most important thing for me right now is the growth of my strength. Um, to me, the journey should be arduous, should be difficult, um, and I should follow and stick to my guns and my gut feeling. It's what I do best. I have always listened to my gut. Um, always uh, look for the symbols of the gods, the signs of the gods, but... Uh, I really feel that my strength training is the most important thing. Um, I am not making this CrossFit competition a secondary thing. I take all forms of competition seriously. I will fucking take a game of Scrabble and thumb wrestling very serious if you challenge me. I will fucking train for that shit like a motherfucker if that's the case. Um, I don't want to sound disrespectful or you know think I'm some sort of badass by deadlifting the day before a CrossFit competition, but I have a strongman competition in two weeks that I've been training for for about three months. Um, so my idea and my goal is I can't afford to take Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and possibly Monday off from a strength training program for a competition that I have in two weeks when next week is my last week of strength training uh, for this CrossFit competition that I'm doing for fun, um, for political reasons, for charity reasons, for friendly reasons, for comp competitive reasons, all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't think that it's priority for me right now in the sense of dropping my strength training. I'm getting a new barbell. It's a Texas deadlift bar for those guys you know. It's one of the best bars for deadlifting out there. Um, it's impossible. It's like getting a new stone to the gym. Like you're going to have to pick it up. But I think a heavy deadlift day and getting that confidence in my back and uh, maybe do a sumo pull so I, my back can, it's been achy lately. But just picking up maybe five, fifty, six hundred pounds off the ground would really help my training and strength, even if it's one day and prepare me for the pickups I have next week. So that being said, um, yes, I will deadlift tomorrow. Yes, I throw caution to the wind all the time. Um, 
it's one of the things that's really difficult when you're your own coach or you don't have a coach. You got to take these risks um, that at times will lead to glory and greatness and other times will fucking break me in half and injure me and so, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Two people said uh, very important things to me in the last couple of days. Um, always do it if it's for yourself, in which I've always done everything in the sense of training for myself in the sense that I do what's right for me. Number two, know what the purpose of the competition. My friend Corey was saying that. He says, is to, are you planning to win tomorrow or is it something you're doing for fun? If it's something you're doing for fun, then don't hold back on your training and go to the deadlifts. If you plan on winning and you feel like you have a great chance on winning and just smashing people up, then rest. I'll be honest with you, I'm too fat to win across the competition, whether my partner is awesome or not. So my focus is on my strength. My goal is on the strongman training. Um, and I will not deviate from the path no matter what's thrown in front of me. My path is to be stronger, faster, more powerful. Definitely, I already said stronger, but definitely strong because I'm not strong. And I need to get strong for nationals. So... Sometimes when you have to stay the course, you sound crazy, you sound undisciplined, you sound irrational, and people are going to question you, and people are going to tell you maybe that's not the best idea, but the only person that knows your journey is you. So if you have a particular journey, sometimes staying that course is going to make you look a little crazy, and I'm already, I'm really okay with that shit because I look crazy enough as it is. So just answering two questions, really, why I do what I do and who I am as as an athlete and how I train myself and how I would suggest to you to train and relax before a competition as a coach. I hope this clears things up in the sense of maybe getting to know how I view things, my outlook personally, and what I would actually suggest to a competitor. So cheers. Thank you for hearing me rant and checking out my beard. And that's all I got.